Wright family and friends coping with a tragic loss. 16 year old Kara Rice was an athlete and a star student. And these are modeling photos that her family shared with us. The teen died Friday at Castlewood State Park. Witnesses say she went under the water in the Merrimack River and never came back up. News Force Gabriella Vidal is in Webster Groves, a community now coping with this tragic loss. So it literally cut such a beautiful life short. Mary Clark says it's hard to forget the moment she first discovered 16 year old Cara Rice three years ago. She had this effervescent quality about her, um, just comfortable in her own skin in the best possible way. But the young model was more than beautiful on the outside. She was the girl that was the leader and always brought the fun and, and would welcome the new ones and make them feel comfortable. We knew that by next summer we'd be launching her into the fashion world at a higher level, but that doesn't get to happen now. And she was a, a wonderful student. You know, she is the exact kid that every parent would want their kid to be. John Thomas is the assistant principal at Webster Groves High School and Rice's neighbor. He says the young volleyball player's drowning leaves a hole in their tight-knit community and says the healing has only just begun. We talked about what does that look like for the rest of the year? You know, what does that look like for some of the kids that were there? You know, how can we be you know, good teammates, good neighbors? Rice's father tells me he believes her drinking alcohol played a factor in her drowning, which is why loved ones hope other young people honor her life by being safe and doing your best to not get pulled into things that can end tragically like this. Counselors will be available to help students and staff at Webster Groves High School this week. And new at five, deaths on Missouri waterways have skyrocketed in 2021. At least 40 people have either drowned or died in boating accidents since the start of the year. 17 happened just in the last month. According to the State Highway Patrol, that's more than any other previous June in the past decade.